Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. So we are back, it is January, it's actually January. Um, today we are going to do a little conspiracy video. I am excited guys. So today I decided that we would do <laughs> A little look into the conspiracy behind the Apollo moon landing. Was it real? Was it faked? What, what's all this, you know, conspiracy behind the moon landing, right? All right, so let's get into it. So I did a bunch of research and found a bunch of different things. And I already know, like, what everything is. So... Let me tell you what it's all about. Moon landing conspiracy theories. The moon landing was faked. Apollo 11 didn't happen. Humans never set foot on the moon. Heard all this before? Conspiracy theories surrounding the moon landings had proved worryingly persistent in the 50 years since Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin took their first steps on the lunar surface. As a result, NASA's landmark achievement is still being challenged. Despite a wealth of online information debunking these conspiracy theories, the cries of hoaxes continue. Why? How can science help debunk moon landing conspiracy theories? On July 20th, 1969, Apollo 11 was the first manned mission to make it to the moon. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were the first to step foot on the moon. That is, if they did go to the moon at all. Many people believe that the first moon landing and the subsequent landings were all faked. There are several reasons why people doubt the truth of the landings and why the government would want to fake the landings in the first place. Those who doubt that we landed on the moon say that the main reason the government would fake it is that they were getting desperate to beat the Russians in the space race, but we were nowhere near being able to launch a spacecraft that could support humans and make it to the moon in 1969. If we could land on the moon, we would be seen to have advanced technology, as well as the money required to fund such an undertaking. With the Cold War quietly raging on, the U.S. wanted to prove that we were strong and secure people to the moon. Doubters say that the government faked the moon landing because our technology wasn't where it needed to be. Others claim that NASA faked the first and subsequent moon landings to ensure it kept receiving funding. Many theorists believe that we couldn't get men to the moon in 1969. So they say that the money NASA raised for the project, around $30 billion, could have gone to paying off people they owed. Doubters say that NASA also faked the landings to fulfill the goal set by President Kennedy, who said in 1961 that he planned to land a man on the moon and bring him back safely to Earth before the decade was out. Time was running out and NASA had to do something to save face. Skeptics say that something was faking the landing. Another reason people say that there was a motive for the fake landing was to distract the public from the unpopular Vietnam War. People were so focused on the space race and so hopeful and excited about seeing someone walk on the moon's surface that the government could continue with the war efforts without as much of a backlash. Proponents of this theory say that it makes sense because the manned landing efforts suddenly ended as soon as the U.S. stopped being involved in the war. There are many examples of what skeptics consider proof that the landings were faked. For the sake of brevity, there will only be a few listed here, but much more information about the theories can be found. Conspiracy theory number one. Shadows and the moon landing photos prove that images were faked. Many look at the photographs and films taken while supposedly on the moon. Some point out perceived flaws in the images themselves, while some believe that the temperature on the moon would not have allowed for photographs or filming at all, that it was too hot and the film would have melted. In addition, skeptics say that since there were no stars in the pictures, the astronauts were not in space, especially since the astronauts themselves stated in a press conference after the mission that they hadn't seen any stars with the naked eye either. Skeptics also say that the shadows are odd in the photos and film and that the color of the shadows and their angles could be more consistent. 
Look at this image. Look closely at the shadows cast by astronaut Neil Armstrong and another object just out of shot. What's wrong with them? They are not parallel. Conspiracy theorists have taken this image as proof that the moon landings were faked. The shadows should be similar if the sun were the only light source. Doesn't this prove the whole scene was mocked up in a studio with multiple light sources creating different shadow patterns? Well, no. This is on the surface of the moon, but we can reproduce this effect anytime we want on Earth, Professor Oha says. You have all seen this phenomenon yourself, where, because of perspective, parallel lines appear to be non-parallel. If you try to reduce a two-dimensional situation, you can make lines do weird things. Artists have been using this for centuries. Go outside when the sun is low in the sky and see this effect for yourself. Just like the images from Apollo 11, the shadows will not be parallel. Conspiracy status debunked. Conspiracy theory two. Apollo astronauts could not have survived Earth's radiation field. Earth is surrounded by a zone of charged particles known as the Van Allen radiation belt. These are regions surrounding the Earth in our magnetic field where high energy trapped particles from the sun tend to get confined, Professor Oha says. If you're going into these regions, there are extremely high radiation concerns. If that is the case, how did the Apollo astronauts travel unharmed through the Van Allen radiation belt and out of Earth's orbit? Surely the amount of radiation would have killed them. Doesn't this prove that the moon landings were a hoax? <coughs> Professor Oha has a killer reply. My answer to that is fire walking. He says, if you've ever done fire walking, you'll know the one thing that you don't do is linger around in the middle of the fire pit. You cross as quickly as you can from a scientific point of view, as long as you walk across quite quickly, looking at the thermal conductivity of your feet, you will not have enough thermal energy going into the soles of your feet to burn you. You'll be absolutely fine. Just don't hang around in the middle. Similarly, the transit time through the Van Allen radiation belt was short at the beginning of the Apollo voyages. Traveling through the Van Allen radiation belt, if you are going fast enough, which you need to be if you're going to the moon, is no problem whatsoever. Conspiracy status debunked. Conspiracy number three. Why are no stars in pictures of the NASA moon landings? Here's another moon landing photograph that has caught conspiracy theorists' eye. If the image was taken on the moon, shouldn't the sky be filled with stars? After all, there's no atmosphere to distort the picture, no clouds to interrupt that glorious view. Conspiracy theorists argue that the lack of stars in the Apollo 11 mission photographs proves that the event was staged. NASA could not have faked the full wonder of the lunar sky, so they chose not to include any stars. Here's another solution. The sun brightly lit astronauts and the lunar landscape. The sky may look black, but remember, this is, in fact, daytime on the moon. If you're going to take a photograph of a brightly lit scene, your camera's shutter speeds needs to be fast and your aperture incredibly small. In that situation, faint objects like stars simply aren't going to show up. Conspiracy theory debunked. Conspiracy theory number four. The Apollo 11 US flag is waving in the wind on the moon. One of the crowning moments in terms of US national pride was seeing the stars and stripes on the surface of the moon, Professor Oha says. Buzz Aldrin saluting the proudly waving American flag on the moon remains one of the iconic images of the Apollo 11 mission. A declaration of US supremacy over the space race rivals the Soviet Union. But if there is no atmosphere on the moon, there is no wind. So why is the flag waving? Is this the proof that the conspiracy theorists have been seeking? Looking again at the top edge of the flag and you will find the answer. A telescopic pole has been extended along the top to make the flag fly proudly. Yes, NASA did think of everything. Because it's been set up like this, it appears to be waving in the wind, Oha explains. 
All the wrinkles are there because it's been screwed up for four days en route to the moon. Conspiracy status debunked. Conspiracy theory number five. If we went to the moon in 1969, why have we never been back? Apollo 17, the last Apollo mission to land astronauts on the moon, took place in 1972. Since then, humans have never returned. That could be because we never went to the moon in the first place. Apollo 17 wasn't meant to be the end of the story, of course. Throughout the 1970s, there were ambitions to establish a permanent lunar base before turning to the next major space exploration challenge, Mars. It never happened. But this was no green conspiracy. This was geopolitics. The answer we changed our priorities, OHA says. From a combination of the Vietnam War, there was also this geopolitical element of thinking. We've won the race. We abandoned it just as we got good at doing science on the moon. Instead, attention turned to the space shuttle program and laterally the International Space Station which teams of astronauts have permanently inhabited since November of 2000. But that doesn't mean humans couldn't return to the moon in the future. Conspiracy status debunked. Another point is that people say the footprints were impossible, as it requires moisture to make a footprint that retains its shape. There is no water on the moon, so people say the footprint was unimaginable. There are many reasons why people believe that we have never landed on the moon and many examples they give as proof. It is an exciting topic and one well worth researching further. But I did a pretty good job researching this one, guys, so I think I just saved you hours of time searching for different um, aspects of the Apollo moon landing being faked. Um, if it was faked, they have really good responses as to why these conspiracy theories don't add up. So anyways, I would love to hear your guys' comments down below. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And as always, I appreciate you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.